Hey guys, welcome back to the Stardew Valley Artism Valley. This is a modded playthrough series where we've added a whole bunch of mods like Bridge Side and Zuzu and Automate, and we can only sell artisan goods. Let's do this. Hey, how are you? Do you ever grow strawberries on your farm? I was going to make this with Auntie Marnie, but I thought it might be best with fresh strawberries from your farm. Anyway, have a good day. Jazz, strawberry pudding. Oh, Harvey gave me... I must have passed out last night. How do you make strawberry pudding? Because I have strawberries. Strawberry pudding, two strawberries and a sugar. Let's make one. We have to do all the cooking, so... I'm almost tempted to move a bunch of this stuff into the house so that we could, um... We could just, like hold it to see if we can make stuff with it. Strawberry pudding. <laughs> Ooh, can I make anything with plantains? Surely we'd probably make something with plantains. But for now I guess they go in here. Alright. Fishing is a task we need to do. Oh, we also need to go collect hardwood. We should plant stuff in here as well, make it worth it. We haven't planted. We need sprinklers, we need iridium. Gosh, we need too much stuff. First fiddle, it's my first fiddlehead burn. Whoa, this is cool. These are so cool. Oh, they're not good for eating, they're for birds. I wonder what we can use them for then. They would kill me. How much energy? 125 they would just about kill me and i guess that's all the hardwood so there's 26 in there all right let's go check out our sawmill we'll empty our inventory and then go check out our sawmill do you use them to make boba tea well i'm gonna hold on to them then oh hello why do we always run into people at the bus stop Hun, this is embarrassing. How long were we even gone that we don't know where to go? Hmm, let me think. Maybe we could... Uh oh. Hmm. Who are these people? Well? Yep, we're lost. <laughs> I hope someone passing by, someone passes by, so we can ask for directions. Oh, hello. I'm not standing here to keep it on you like a creep. I'm just a creep. I'm just a creep. I'm just a creep. Oh, young lady, would you be a deer and help us find our way to the cable car? We seem to have lost our way. Ah, some help. Thank you. Oh no, we're not tourists. We just haven't returned for a long time. That kind of makes you tourists. We were traveling around the world for reasons. Oh yes, the cable car. So could you guide us there? We're really sorry to bother you. Ah, so this is where it was. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm sorry, we forgot to introduce ourselves. My name's Malay, and this here is my husband, Kimpoi. Kimpoi? Kimpoi? It's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, you're lying? So you're the new farmer who moved to the valley. My sister mentions you in one of her letters. You've been really helpful, Lion. We really appreciate it. It's quite embarrassing, really, forgetting the whereabouts of our own hometown. All right then, I think we better go. See you around, Lion. 
So you're telling me that I dropped my crock pot because you were excited for a phone call from some lottery? Now tell me, how much did you win? Will it cover the broken crock pot, the one I used all, used all the time, that I had to special order because they're not sold around here? Now, sweetie, I, uh, oh, correction, the one I used all the time, it's long gone, but shattered. For all the measly $20 you won in the lottery, I told you there were scams. Oh, and the lottery ticket cost $25 for Pete's sake, Bert White. Oh, says sister. Hey, what were your... Ollie, sis? Hey, what's the hold up? What's going on? Hey, Olga Bert. Smoking horses, you two. You're back! We're sorry we didn't inform you ahead of time, Ollie. We were kind of... I have so much, so much to tell and scold you about, big brother. But not now. Ollie, why are your lips trembling? Are you okay? Yeah, I thought that was coming. I missed you, you big oaf. Ollie. It's nice to see you too, Malaya. Now, how are your legs doing? Getting used to th those yet? Missing your bit. Olga, shush. We're not alone. She's on my Oh, Lion, didn't see you there. You heard nothing. Oh. And I guess you've met them. Line here guided us to where the cable car was. We sort of forgot the whereabouts. Well, it's been so long. On that topic, it's been so long since your daughter saw you two. You both should hurry up and go get go to her. Who's that daughter? How's our sweet baby girl? I don't know how to approach her now. Ellie. Stop sulking and go to her. Oh, yes, we have to go. Thank you once again, Lion. Let's go meet our daughter. They just up and left and travelled without their daughter? What? They head off to Ridgeside Village. That's just wrong. Would you like to follow them? Ooh. Uh, I'll stay behind. Goodbye, Lion. I bet the Lindens will have a wonderful reunion. I don't know what to pick there. Oh, there's power to it. Let's see what it is. Whoa! Wood chippers? That's cool. Furnaces? I don't actually know what you do with it. I guess it's just another room. What do wood chippers do? You turn hardwood into normal wood, right? Future gold taste pad. I love that. <laughs> Auto pedder! You can buy one! I want to buy one, but I don't have that much money. That's another thing we need to save up for, I guess. We can buy an auto pedder. Claire! Oh, we're so close! Go on, take a long vacation if you can. Why not? You've got the P P P P T O. Just do it. I thought this sawmill would be like I could employ people to collect wood for it, me, and um, I was wrong, which is a little bit shared, but that's okay, I guess. I do have free machines I didn't have to make, which is nice. Martin's birthday. Oh, hello again. Good morning, Lion. Uh, lovely morning, isn't it? Anyway, I came here to tell you that I'll finally be reopening Nightingale Orchard, Nightingale Orchard Seed Shop. 
I'll be selling foreign and exotic fruit trees there. That just like, just like what you see planted on our farm. I uh, I hope you can visit soon, fellow farmer. More trees. Gus, give me pancakes. Demetrius wants a puffer fish. What to do? You know what? It's finally time to make an an, an oil machine. Slime hardwood gold bar. What else do we have that we can put? Red cabbage isn't growing yet. Fiddle of fern will complete that. Pomegranates on a tree. Apples are on a tree, but they're in fall. So just the one thing. Martin is in town today. That's good. It'd suck if he wasn't for his birthday. Wasn't around. Morris, you annoying person. I can't talk to you now. Oh, a cutscene. Come on, kiddo. I don't got all day. <coughs> yes, ma'am. I understand. I'll ring this up for you now. Pam, a bully. Er, how does this, um... Hey Claire, can you help me with this transaction? I can't tell whose cutscene it's for. Um, sure. It's a Claire cutscene or a Martin cutscene? Oh, you need to press the other items button. Ah, that was it. Would you like your receipt, ma'am? No. That lady's kind of scary. She's a regular customer, so you'll see her again. Well, anyway, uh, thanks for helping. Okay. You're welcome. Claire, not Claire, Pandra Bully. I haven't been in here in so long. Pancake. What is this? I don't know how to say that. Is that what they usually say during this cutscene? Maru, Lion is here. Hi, Lion. I'm stumped on a math problem right now for the project I'm working on. I've been stuck on it for an hour. Maybe you could help me figure it out. I'm not good at math, but I'll try my best. I can't. I'm terrible at math. Sorry. I'm a math genius. I can solve anything. I'll try my best. Okay, let's do this then. Is this? Let's grab my laptop line. This is a new cutscene. Okay, so I'm trying to find the rate of change the rate of change of the area of the circle when the radius is exactly four meters. From my calculations, it's increasing at a rate of 0 0.5 meters per second. What? Oh, the circumference of a circle is increasing at a rate of 0 0.5 meters per second. What is the rate of change in the area of the circle when the radius is four meters? So not two meters per minute. I don't understand this. Um, I'm just gonna pick two meters squared per minute. Hmm, this is correct. Thank you, line. Is it actually correct? Is 
It's not correct. There's another problem I have too. I tested a reaction that produced a gas, gaseous mixture of the carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide and water vapour. The reaction contains 0 0.6 moles of carbon dioxide, 0 0.3 moles of carbon monoxide and 0 0.10 moles of water vapour. Do you know what the partial pressure of a carbon monoxide would be? monoxide would be if the total pressure of the mixture was 10 so it's a one to three to six so if it was at 80 three of 80 is this is i was not prepared for this i don't know i left school a long time ago uh, 24 hmm this is correct thank you lan i don't know what she just says is correct whether it's not or is or not or if i'm just a lucky guess i have a few more problems to go tackle i appreciate your helpline I don't know if that was a fluff or not. Can you please move to the anchor? Upgrade house. 100 hardwood to upgrade my house. Oh, I could do that. Oh, uh, you need to build a fish pond. I haven't got one of those yet. We probably have all the stuff for that. But what I really want to build is a stable. But I I need the iron bars. But we don't we they're not made yet. I just need 20, 20, two, 2, more XP for fishing, and I get about fifty per fish. So I just need a lot more fish. Oh, oh, it's a Saturday. Damn it! I was gonna go buy a fishing upgrade, a fishing rod upgrade, but I can't. He doesn't open on a Saturday. Oh! Sorry, Seeds. You're out of here. Not that I can sell the treasure chest anyway. Oh, another artifact we don't have. This is fun. A book we already have, but we could read for fishing experience. Ah! I want this one, we don't have it. Well, that's not what I wanted to do. 75 to go! It's two more bullheads! 40 to go! 40 XP, come on. That's 3 XP, that's the trash. 39 XP. That's still only 3 XP. 36 XP. you just need to give me more than 33 come on yes let's go we did it and I would take the mine carts home but I think the mines are further away than it would be to run to our house hey there's still a fire plant on the fire we did it finally level 10 fishing finally I don't know why it says we can sell them. That confuses me. Do we just have to sell our book? Ooh. You must know. You must know we reached level 10. 
fish worth more. Even though I guess selling them hooked still counts, right? Yeah. We did it. Woo! You sense that a new way is open. Queen of Swords. Bench a carp, carp surprise. You learn how to cook carp surprise. Well, I had a carp, but I got rid of them all. Let's see if I kept any carp. Nope, not a single carp. Treasure chest definitely goes on the table. Decorative pot can go in the fridge. Oh, I guess you could just put it on the ground. It's like a little cat water bowl. Like a cat water bowl! That's cute. Whoa, we've got some stuff ready over here. Red cabbage is almost ready. Passion plants. Oh, it's almost ready. I think what we should do, if we're smart, is set up these trees to automate. Oh, do you know what? Instead of buying a horse, I'm going to put the 100 wood in this. And then we'll go chop more wood in the, in the... Maybe someone will decide to move in. And um, we'll go chop down more trees in the hardwood place. Woo! The final path! My dear Lion, if you're reading this note, you've found the secret room I prepared for you. Within these walls are tips, recipes, and even some of my most cherished tools. All the very best from many happy years I spent in the valley. By coming this far, you've proven that you, you possess the skill and wisdom to make use of these powerful secrets. I hope my discoveries help you in your journey to make Artisan Valley Farm a shining star of the whole world. Make me proud of Grandpa. Whoa. A heavy furnace. It's more efficient, but it requires more ore and more coal. Does it give me more? But does it give me more? Or does it give me the same amount and just cost more to make? Well, we have to make them find out. Uh, that's a bit broken. <laughs> Another cutscene in here. Greetings, Wanderer. Who's there? I'm a Zerber of this realm for centuries. The wind carries whispers of your arrival and now our fates intertwine. What do you seek from me? Bring me the essence of the forest, an earth crystal course and red mushroom. In return, I shall illuminate the path ahead. Consider it done. In the tranquility of nature's embrace you shall find the essence you seek a conveyance of elements awaits where harmony and life intertwine venture forth for the answers you seek await let the essence of nature guide you when the sun rises on a new day return to this cave the path you seek will be illuminated so i can't go in or i can but it won't be lit that's oh what is that thing? Oh goodness. Are they invincible? Oh my goodness. That guy had so much HP. Oh, I thought I was getting Iridium. Prismatic shot! Thirty-three thousand HP. Oh, they count as a void spirit. That's fun. Are you gonna kill me, sir? 
Let me eat my cheese. There's a hole. I didn't mean to go down the hole. That was an accident. I wanted to go around it. Well, whoops. Whoa! There's octopus in here. What is this? I should stop walking into things I don't know what they are. <laughs> oh, I'll never learn. Is that a message in a bottle? My inventory is full. Surprise, surprise. I want to rearrange my museum to make it look pretty. Cutscene. What I mean? Where did I just come from? Why is I hiding behind bookshelves? I'm such a creep. A line. I didn't see it yet. I was just checking out, um... What are you reading? That's, uh, I'm doing some research. It's... Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, I guess I'll level with you, line. I'd say we're friends now, right? That's cool. I want to be friends. See this book here? It's a book on genealogy. There's a lot of old families in the valley. Bet you didn't know this, but Pelican Town has some of the best records of families in the area of blood. Genealogy, not genie. <laughs> I guess it's kind of weird hobby for my guy, for a guy my age to have. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Not that weird. I mean, definitely a little weird, but I've got a good reason. I'm adopted. It's not a big deal, but I don't know who my birth parents are, and sometimes I come in here and just poke around thinking I might learn something. Oh. I love my parents, but I've never felt like I belonged in our family, even before they told me. Anyway, I come here and look around, that's all, and it's a good excuse to get out of the house. I feel more at home in Pelican Town than I do in the country, even if it weren't for the books. I meet you here, and uh, Claire too. Thanks for listening and for making me feel at home here. I'll get back to reading now. There's definitely a lot missing. What am I missing? I'm gonna make this look pretty. I'm missing some of the dwarf scrolls. I'm missing the yellow one. Oh no, there it is. How do I get to... I can't rearrange it. <gasps> I can't rearrange it because I can't get to these ones. Well, that's annoying. It's way easier if you rearrange it to know what you're missing. Did I donate both? I did. Well, I should make friends with Gunther too. I'm in... Damn! <laughs> this coal better last us. I'm gonna be honest, I probably didn't need to buy that much coal, but there's no harm in having more coal. Root cabbage seed, how nice! I don't need it anymore, ma'am. I'm growing them. But thanks. Poison mushroom. Four days. Okay, this isn't working. These are not giving me honey. Yes, truffle oils and artisan. Good. Let's go. We can sell truffle oil. Wow, look at all that money. Jeez, I'm telling you, man. Might need to get another barn and just fill it with 
cats and goats and that's just how we make our money it was meant to be wine but that takes too long all right that's his birthday today i think we can give him something Is that tea tree ready yet oh it has to be the end of the season maybe we should grow another one damn got me a beer because I feel like one is only going to give us five, six, seven tea tree leaves. Where does the truffle oil go? We had this problem last time. Uh, Pam sent me a beer. Oh, I haven't sold one. We can sell a beer. Let's sell a beer. Let's see how much money we can make. It's so nice to have it actually be going through other things. Look at that. It just... Potatoes? Oh. Potatoes don't take as long, which is nice. Like a day for dried potatoes. Potato juice one day. I do need to get some more built. Oh yeah. Some ready stuff. Red cabbage is almost ready. If anyone could tell me how to fix this, like, I'd be internally grateful. Because it's just too much. Fragrant lilacs, two different colours. We've already sold one. So I guess those just go in here. We can make geode crushes! I was talking about how we should make them. Let's do it. What was it? Gold bars, I think. Gold diamond stone. Stone. Diamond. Gold. Because now we can just be like boop boop and find this chest will do. Um, ah, maybe this chest. Boop boop boop. And then we go boop boop. <laughs> Oh! Copper! And that will just open all those for us. Like, that's amazing! Let's just put them all in there. Um, uh, actually, maybe. Oh, yeah, let's just do it all because we can get more Omni Geodes from Skull Caverns. So. Aha! Does work. So we can set that up and then I don't have to worry about that anymore. Oh, hello. We need to buy fishing from Willy. Raccoon, hungry, need fish. Five muscle, one smoked goldfish. I don't know if we get muscle. We might have to move some crab pots down to the beach. I know that I'm kind of an oddball, if you don't mind. We do need to put some crab pots down to the beach anyway for Elliot to get, um, Lobsters, because they're his favourite. Although he might have more favourites now, but they're one of his favourites. Ooh. You're a big one. Look at this guy all out here by himself. Hi, Lion. I'm looking at these starfish in the water. Look at this bright orange one. We probably came here to pick up some coral or sea urchins, huh? I should stop picking them up. I like ocean creatures a lot. These tadpoles allow me to get a close look at all of sorts of them. Willie said you fixed the wooden bridge leading to this part of the bridge. The beach. I never got the chance to, um, I never thanked you for that. Aww, my dad built that wooden bridge years ago so I could visit the tide pools during the summer. It got damaged during a storm so I couldn't get over here without swimming. With my dad being away, no one bothered to fix the bridge. But you fixed it, and no one even asked you to, but you did it anyway. Cute. Hello. I wish I 
wish my dad would spend more time with me. <clears throat> Since my dad got home, he isn't the same. Him being away for an entire year was really hard. I'm so happy he's back, but it isn't the same. I don't feel like looking at the starfish anymore. I'm I'm gonna go. Bye. Aww. That's kind of sad. I should check on Vincent later today. We did it! Road to fishing rod from Willy! We finally did it! I should put some fish tanks because I want to put the new fish in it. Which I'm pretty sure is something I've been saying for a while and I just never got around to doing it. So now is our chance. Cry assistant tracking down this. Bundles of wheat are a high demand this year. Anyone who ships 100 bundles of wheat by the end of the season will earn a substantial reward from the trust fund. Have I already done a wizard one? Let's do the wheat one. That one seems new. Well, I've never seen it before. So we can do 100 wheat. Welcome to clothing therapy. You're probably wondering, what is clothing therapy? I'll try to explain. So many of us are struggling with personal issues, things holding us back from living how we want. It's important to me that everyone has free and happy lives, so I've come up with a new kind of therapy to help people achieve that. It's based on the amazing power of self-expression. Self-expression is a wonderful healing tool. Did you know that? Behind the curtain, you'll find racks and racks of clothing. There's endless options to choose from. Your job is simple. Find the outfit that truly speaks to you and put it on. Feel confident in yourself and your choice. Well, you, you all have a unique style to share with the world. Shane, you're up first. I don't see any racks. Feels like I get so many cutscenes, and I think it's because there's just so many people. Ah, Lan, you're just in time. Just observe and keep an open mind, okay? <laughs> Shane, it's a new side of you we've never known about. That's great. Now, go outside with confidence and show the world. It'd be crazy if you saw them like out and about in that one. Okay, everyone gets a turn. It'd be crazy if like when I went outside today that's what they were wearing. That's pretty. Let's see what Demetrius thinks. I love that we're doing it in the maze house too. <laughs> oh yeah. You're up. Oh, okay, Emily, I'll do it. That's not bad. Sigh to an all cute. You don't want to be considered cute? Probably wants handsome. Well, that went very well. I just hope this experience helps everyone break out of their shells a bit. Lion, um... I couldn't do it. I don't want to break out of my shell. Oh, I guess I'm interrupting something here, aren't I? Oh, this is a heart cutscene right i feel bad i understand i'll leave now congrats line
I feel like you can't date Emily because of Cliff. Like, it just feels wrong. There's like a few characters where you just like, you can't because they've got their little romances going on with the other people or the wannabe romances. Oh, this is the Pam. Hey, Lion. I kind of want this day to go quickly. So I'm just looking over last month's earnings and it's not going very good, Lion. The worst thing, and I hate to say it, is because this because she's my friend is Pam. She hasn't paid off her tab in weeks, but I can't ask her to do it. I know she'll get defensive and I don't want to hurt her feelings. Lion, you gotta help me. She has a job now. Hey Gus, I'm awfully thirsty if you catch my drift. Alright, well, okay Pam. Lion, what's going on here? Need to pay your tab right now. The saloon isn't doing well financially. It isn't. That's terrible. Oh. So, well, I guess I better pay off that tab then. Thanks, Pam. And thank you, Lion. Now, let's get you that drink, Pam. Please don't ask me to play. Yes. Because I'm not going to just game. Yeah, didn't see you there. I beat the level I've been stuck on. You caught me in an awkward moment though. I need to leave. What I want to do. Kind of look, kind of looking to procrastinate a little longer. Have time for a round of Perry King? I was just thinking the same thing. Let's play a level. I shouldn't have said that because I can't play. It's not going to go well. I just hide behind you and make you do it all. Oh wait, why'd you die? I don't know how to use the coffee. Oh, I thought it was the green one. What? At least I got him some money. Why are you standing in one place and shooting diagonally? I don't even know how to shoot diagonally. to do another level? Are we done? We said one round. I finally beat the first level of the game. That was fun. Thanks for playing. I suppose I go finish my homework. It's due at 8pm. Bye Lion.
I did do it. I finished the level. I want to play the pumpkin smasher game. It's my birthday. You remembered my birthday. Thank you. This is great. Welcome to the saloon. Can I get you anything? Let's see if you have anything that I want. I want this. A soda maker. Carbonara. Cola maker. Syrup maker. We might be able to make some things. I just brought some recipes. Marble soda maker. I hope I didn't just buy that twice. Mint chocolate gelato. Gosh, we're not even halfway down. Let's put it next to the flowers for now, and then we'll change our mind later. So making honey honeysuckle essence oil. Um, let's see it. Let's check out these new machines. Iron, 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 iron. With broken glasses. Well, we don't have any broken glasses, but we probably do have some iron. We don't have any iron. I just used it all to make kegs. Alright. I think I've probably dilly-dallied enough. We could put our fish in the fish tank. Yeah. Where's my crimson fish? Oh no. Did I, I turned them into a smoked crimson fish. And then sold them. That's sad. That's so annoying. Why wouldn't let me put these in? Why wouldn't let me put the fish in the fish tank? Oh, my crimson fish is right in front of me. I'm an egg. It's right here. Why wouldn't let me put these fish in? I have an invisible fish. Why wouldn't let me put these fish in it though? I guess you guys live in a chest. When did we put the new fish in the first tank? Which was the only reason I saved them. Right. Well, that's disappointing to end on. Okay then, hello, my name. Every time I spend all my money, I somehow make it back, which is nice. <laughs> Hello, Gus. I'm skipping this because that's next episode. That's a sneak peek of next episode. This is actually kind of cool to stand in. Thanks everyone for watching. Hope you have a good rest of your day, night, wherever it may be for you, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!